Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video guys, I just wanted to kind of piggyback off of the last video I had made and I actually want to ask you guys for some help. Um, I really appreciate all the comments from you guys that I have received thus far. Um, Mike Everest and uh, Sean and uh, just everyone, you know, um, the security command. Uh, just everyone guys I really appreciate the support and the comments and everything in this video guys I would like for you guys if any of you guys are able to help me out um, because Mike had a good suggestion and I think the security command had a good suggestion as well about me uh, providing them with an additional document for them to sign that would take the liability off me if any of you guys are able to help me with that and maybe can create that document for me, I will provide my email in this video and in a link down below. If you guys can shoot me an email with that document, then I can kind of go over it and then possibly get them to sign it. And if they don't sign it or disagree or whatever, then I think that I'm going to just go ahead and let this one go, guys, because it's starting to become like a huge headache for me. And that's something that I definitely don't need. Um, like I said, I just added two more contracts, so it really won't hurt me to let this go. But if I can keep it going, I'd rather keep it going, you know, if that's God's will. But um, guys, let me just give you guys a, a quick rundown. When I took this contract, um, what, about maybe five, six months ago now, um, they told me about the issues that it was having on the property. Of course, I told you guys that they left out information because a lot of times these clients were at like, Oh, it's not that bad. You know, we just want security just to have security or whatever the case may be. She left out a lot of information, guys. There was some crazy stuff happening on the property because, you know, construction, the apartments are still, you know, being worked on. So she left out a lot of information. So along the way, I found out the truth on the real reason why we was here. That's when I came out with the whole, you know what, we need to change this thing from unarmed to armed. So um, the first couple months, guys, we, we had no restroom no restroom at all you know me and my guys we had to go to the circle k and use the restroom and they ain't 24 hours so whenever they closed we had nowhere else to use the restroom you know so that was like a big deal for me you know so i kept you know contacting her about hey you know we need keys you know we need keys we need access or whatever so we made it past that i ended up getting the keys like i said the key fob is to be able to maneuver around the clubhouse and the actual key key is for the leasing office because you have to go through there to get to the break room so um, first we had an issue. Like I said, I have a ton of issues on this property, but one of the main issue was I wasn't under the impression that we was only here for the property, but not the people. I never heard of that. You know, normally if I'm protecting a property, I'm responsible for the people on the property um, as well. But she made that known, you know, she was like, no, 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 you are not here for the people. You know, the people will not have your phone number. You know, um, they are told to dial 911 not to contact you. You are here for the property in the clubhouse. That's what she had said. So I was like, okay, cool. So I'm going to do my foot patrols, my vehicle patrols. I'm going to walk through the clubhouse, make sure the doors is locked. At 10 o'clock, I'm going to tell everyone if people is inside, hey, you know, the inside is closed. You know, the pool area, hey, guys, 10 o'clock, you know, blah, 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 things is closed. That was the understanding that I had after we made it past that I'm not here for the people. So I said, okay, cool, no problem. So this whole time, guys, I had been uh, doing that, you know, walking through the clubhouse, making sure doors are locked and different things like that. She gave me keys. So, uh, and that was what I was told. So that's what I was doing, you know? So um, like I said, um, I didn't tell you guys this, but I had lost a officer recently. So that's why I had been trying to, you know, get some guys in here. So, Obviously, you guys know I work around the clock. You know, I'm, I'm constantly working and I have to try to get rest in between. So it makes sense for me to find people who local who live in this area and they just meet me on a job site and I can do everything here. Interviews, training, everything. And obviously, like I said, you guys know with the weather, it's been a little chilly here in Florida. So it's like, OK, I have keys. Let's go inside the common area and we can sit down and talk and discuss the job. And if I decide we're going to move forward and you decide, then we can move on to the next level. We can start doing training. I can start telling you more about the job, you know, um, give you a tour of the facility, all that good stuff. You know, so I didn't think, you know, like I said, it was an issue at all. You know, now all of a sudden it's an issue. You know, and the people who I've been bringing here, none of those people have actually worked on their own yet. They still in the training process. I've been running this site by myself. So 
all of a sudden it just became an issue. So now you have taken that away from us that you don't want us inside the clubhouse unless we are going in there to use the restroom. So I really thank you guys for your responses because now I'm thinking about a lot of scenarios that can happen inside the clubhouse, but you're telling me you don't want me in the clubhouse. So if something pop off and I don't go in there, you're going to blame me for not going in there, but you told me not to go in there unless I have to use the restroom. So guys, if one of you or multiple of you or whatever can make that document for me and send it to my email, like I said, I can review it and I'm going to print it out and I'm going to present it to them. You know, like I said, if they sign it, good. If they don't, I'm just going to move on and uh, that'll be it with this one, you know. So anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, again, guys, I really appreciate the love. I, I appreciate the support from you guys. You guys just don't know how much you guys help me. You know, um, I know I share a lot of information with you guys, but you guys share just as much with me. You guys are always helping me. And I don't want to get into naming a lot of people, but all you guys are helpful, man. You know, I just really, really appreciate it, you know. So please, if you guys can do that, uh, send it to my email and then we'll go from there. Thank you.